when a single block or shoe brake is applied to a rolling wheel, this one, an additional load is thrown on the shop bearing due to having normal force and a normal force and produces spending on the shop. In order to overcome this drawback, a double or a double block. And the top becomes this top block. Use a double block or a shoe brick. So, later, young double block, it requires a single block. So, this is the same, same shot, okay. This is a single block break line of action and one passes through. So we should be in anyway. So okay, so when a single black or shoe black is applied to a rolling stone, a rolling wheel, yeah, an additional load is thrown on the shaping due to additional force. Uh, and produces many of the shaping. Now that overcome this drawback, use a double black or shoe black. This wheel is rolling. Okay, so next, five button black or shoe break. So when the angle of contact is greater than 60 degrees, <laughs> then the unit pressure normal to the surface of contact is less at the ends than at the center. In such cases, the block or shoe is pivoted to the lever or a shoe in figure five. So, so instead of being rigidly attached to the lever. So for analysis ito, so check nyo yung mga example niya, yung derivation of equations later. Okay. Ano po yung force, kinematics lang ka, uh, mechanics. Next, the double or shoe break. When a single black rate break is applied to a rolling wheel, an additional load is thrown on the shop bearings due to normal force and this produces spinning of the shop. In order to overcome this drawback, a double block or shoe break as in figure seven is used. So, it consists of two brake break blocks applied at the opposite ends of the diameter of the wheel, which eliminate or reduces the unbalanced force on the shop. So the brake is set by a spring which pulls the upper ends of the brake arms together. So when a force F is applied to the bell crank, this brake this break is compressed and the brake is released. So back it. or W. So this type of brake is often used on electric trains and the force W is produced by an electromagnet or solenoid. When the current is switched off, there is no force on the bell crank level, level and the brake is engaged automatically due to the spring force and thus there will be no down downward movement of the load. And the double block brake, the braking action is doubled by the use of the blocks. And the two blocks may be operated practically by the same force, which will operate 
1. In case of double black or show black, the breaking torque is given by simply yung sum. So P sub F is equal to P sub F1 plus T sub F2. So P sub F1 and P sub F2 are known are the breaking torques on the two blocks. Add nyo lang. So ano tayo magkali ng mechanics, di ba? Summation of moment, summation of forces equals zero. So next is the simple band break. Marami rin dito sa review well. And a band break, the band wraps partly around the brake wheel or drum and braking action is obtained by pulling the band tight on the wheel. Now, figure 8, the braking force F is the difference between the tensions at the end, two ends of the band. Difference niya. Okay, ilan mo to. So, F1 is greater than F2. The force analysis is similar to that given for bells, except that the typical force is upset. We get F1 over F2 is equal to E F theta. But F sub 1 is the tension of the tight side of the band. F sub 2, the smaller tension, and theta, the angle of contact between the band and the wheel in tangents. So the conceptual tools for computation on band breaks include F is equal to F sub 1 minus F sub 2, and an equilibrium equation. In figure 8, if the rotation is reverse, the larger tension F1 will oppose W, resulting in a smaller brake torque for a particular W. Okay, Next, differential band brake. It's a simple, yung isang ano niya, isang force niya, nakatama sa full room. Ha? Ito naman, wala sa full room, yung isang forces. So, in differential band brake, figure 9, the tension on the one end of the brake band aids in applying the brake. So, such brakes are self-energizing and may be in the safe RT. A post analysis which with the brake level as the free body, figure 9, will suggest some characteristic of this type of brake. Using the pole from B at the center of moments in under 30 minutes, depending the action at B from the moment equation figure 9, we get summation of M sub B is WA plus M sub 1B minus F sub 2C is equal to 0. And here, F sub 1B, yeah, is the same, is in the same case of WA. Figure, palit pataas, diba? So, talk niya, palit niya. And the externally applied force W is assisted by the tight tension F1. So, two loops na dalawa. So get the relation of frictional forces F, force F, and the applied force W, substitute the value of F1 is equal to F2 EF theta into F sub 1 minus F sub 2 is equal to F, and find F sub 2 is equal to F over EF theta minus 1, and then F1 is equal to F EF theta over EF theta minus 1. So use these values of F1 and F2 and solve for W. So W is equal to F times C minus B EF theta over A times E, F, F, theta, minus 1. Which shows that W will be negative if B, A, exponent F, theta, is greater than 0, C. That is, the brake will be self-acting and grab once the frictional force begin to act. Since the breaking torque is T sub F is equal to F D over 2, where D over 2 is the radius of the drop, we may multiply both sides by equation by D of equation by D over 2. Solve for F D over 2 is equal to F and find TF is equal to W D times A times E X F theta minus 1 over 2 over C minus B F D e A. It's called F theta. Napon yun yung torque. Kinukha natin na dito is yung torque, di ba? Kasi yung most power, alam nyo naman pa. Torque saka speed yun. So, wala na tayong problema na. Kaya nag-apabin, most power pala pinakuha. Di ba? Kaya nag-apabin, most power pala pinakuha. Di ba? Kaya nag-apabin, most power pala pinakuha. Di ba? Kaya nag-apabin, most power pala pinakuha.
na ganito ang plan. So, dip, dip, uh, okay. So, for design value, the pressure C table 1 on the on the break is computed as P is equal to F over small letter F, A, in which A is the contact area between the band and the ground. Contact. So, the design data for breaks and touches, some of the and ito, during friction, F, the temperature, yung pressure na ito, maximum and your maximum velocity. So, according to Hagen book, suitable gram diameter may fall between T sub F is equal to, in inch pound is T sub F over 5 to one third less than D is less than T F over 4 is one third. Where FHF is taken at the maximum of power to be dissipated in any 15 minute period. Although empirical values given by independent equations are perceived to be reasonable, new design should, if possible, follow non successful practice. Yeah. So example number one, A, for the band break shown, derive the expression for the breaking torque in terms of W, etc. For clockwise rotation and for counterclockwise rotation, and specify the ratio of the ratio for equal effectiveness in both directions of rotation. B, when theta is 270 degrees, A is 116 inches, B, C is just 3 inches and T 12 inches, it was found that the force, a force W is equal to 50 pounds, produced a frictional torque of 1,000 inch pound. Compute the coefficient of friction. So given that is to 70 degrees, A 16 inches, B is equal C, it was 3 inches, D is 12 inches, W is 50 pounds. And also the video. Sama sa gipin na i-drawing nyo. Ito yung ABC, theta, D, and T. Ito yung ano. Okay. Required A, expression for the breaking torque, not quite, not the clock of expression, letter B, coefficient of friction. So kasama rin itong ratio. Okay. So kung kulang dito, kung di tawin nyo naman, let's go. Solution for the clockwise rotation, so ito, clockwise, pag anon. Oh, so, yan. So, ito yung uh, free ball diagram. Yan, ito yung F2, F1. Di pa ganun siya, di ba? So, kung nagpagaroon ka, yung F1 nandito. Dito. Contact lock wise, yung F1 nandito. Okay. So, F1, the measure of moment at zero at all dito. Ito yan, ito is W times A is equal to F1 times B plus F2C. Ito kasi opos WA. So sa clockwise ng mga forces, ito naman F1 and F2. And also F1 is equal to F2E exponent F theta. So WA is equal to F2E F theta B plus F2C. So therefore, F2 is equal to WA over B, E, F, theta, plus C. Yan, F2. Also, F1 is equal to F2, E, exponent F, theta, is equal to WA, E, F, theta, over B, E, F, theta, plus C. So, F is equal to F1 minus F2, is equal to WA, E, F, theta, minus WA, over B, E, F, theta, plus C, is equal to WA, factor out min WA, times E is called F theta minus 1 over B E is called F theta plus C. So the torque is T F is equal to F over 2. Therefore, to fit it on F, we're F W A B over 2 times E is called F theta minus 1 over B 
B is for the time number C. So this is your answer for clockwise rotation. For counterclockwise, if I'm not big, if I will get one, they get two. So minimum rotation. Yeah. Summation of moment at O is equal to zero. So again, W A but from the data. So the long process naman pa ganon. So that is F2B plus F1C. Nabaliktan lang yung F1 saka F2. Diba? But F1 is equal to F2 E exponent F theta. So WA is equal to F2B plus F2C E exponent F theta. Therefore, F2 is equal to WA over C E F B theta plus B. Therefore, F1 is equal to F2 E exponent F theta is equal to WA E F theta over C E F theta plus B. Then F is equal to F1 minus F2 is equal to W, A, E, F, theta minus W, A. Over C, E, F, theta plus B is equal to W, A times E, F, theta minus 1. Over C, E, F, theta plus B. Then, now, T, F is equal to F2 over 2 is equal to W, A, D over 2 times E, F, theta minus 1. Over C, E, F, theta plus B. This is now your answer for counterclockwise equation. Equating. Nung force, nung torque, pag indicate mo to sa kato, so, makancel yung ito, WAD over 2. So, ito na yan. So, AF theta minus 1 over B, AF theta plus C, is equal to AF theta minus 1 over C, AF theta plus B. Cancel mo to, ito mo na E1, ito, so C is equal to B. So, answer. Or C over B is equal to 1. Better B. So, may given time value. W is equal to 50 pounds, TF is 1,000 inch pound, D is equal to 12 inches, A is equal to 16 inches, B is equal to C is 3 inches, and P is equal to 270 degrees or 4.7124 radians. This is in radians. Beta. Nakalimut, nakalimut tayo. So isa lang equal yung B and C. So, so pixel value sa torque, TF, is equal to any of the equation. So, 1,000 plus 50 is equal to 50 times 16 times 12 over 2 times D e is for F theta minus 1 over T A is for F theta plus 3. So, magiging E is for F theta minus 1 over E is for F theta plus 0.625. So, E is for F theta is equal to 4.712 for F is equal to 4.333. So F is equal to 0.311. So this is now your answer. Okay. So that is lang sa band rate. Next example. This is, uh, ano na? So. Super. The break shown is lined with open asbestos, yung shaded yan. The cast iron wheel is turned at 60 RPM, counterclockwise. Nakita niya ang arong to. Ganyan. Width of the contact surface is 4 inches. A force F, W is 1, 3 pounds. 1,300 pounds. It's applied by a link system not shown. Theta is 90 degrees. Let P is equal to P sine P. Yes, I am spelling yan. Yung symbol. So A, with the brick table as a free body, take moments about the pi volt J. Ito. We determine the maximum pressure and compare with permissible values. Compute B, the breaking torque. C, the friction energy and frictionless power. P, compute the normal force and ito. The average pressure of the projected area and decide if the brake application can safe PV continuous. So, and then yung dimension. So, unahin nyo yung goal yung kasama yung problem. So, given figure in 60 RPM CC for each big contact surface, the pull is 1 pounds, theta is 90 degrees required. A, the maximum pressure and compare with permissible values. B, the braking torque. C, the friction of energy and friction mass power. T, Normal force and C average pressure of the projected area. So solution. So tignan nyo lang yung solution na A. So yung figure mo. 
Ito yung photo mo yung G, at yung theta, yung lambda. Ito yung G is equal to 10, R is equal to 10 inches. Offset, yung C is 1 by 1 up, 1 by 1 up, P is equal to 25 inches. Ito inches din ito. Wala tayong ganamit na B dito kasi yung B mo yun na yung B. So, kung pumunta na ng element dito, at this differential of force is equal to FDX. Ito yung differential of force mo. Ito yung element. Tapos yung integrate mo. So, A, differential of F is equal to F times differential of N. So, P is equal to P times sine P. PHI. Then, differential of N is equal to substitute mo itong This is pressure times area. What is the area? Pr times the pressure of theta. The force, normal force, is pressure times the pressure of area. Area is Br. The radius mo r times the pressure of theta. This is the increment of the increment of the mo lang. The pressure of P. Yeah, kana do na yun. So the maximum mo is the interval mo is theta. This is from D to J. So that is Br. The pressure of theta is the area mo times pressure is the normal. The Br is equal to Pbr. Then the pressure of P is equal to so we just move up. P Pr sine P then the pressure of P. So so we just move naman to don. The pressure of F is equal to F P R F P B R sine P the pressure of P. Now, the moment of F force, itong force na to, with respect to J, is equal to R cosine theta P minus R. That's the pressure of P. So, it's the pressure of moment yan. Ang equal to the pressure of M is equal to R cosine P minus R. That's the pressure of P. So, F, F, P, is the integral of it now. What is that? Kunin mo to, R, ang R, ang F mo yan, so, dito yung kukunin mo, This is the your capital R. Ito yon J to O distance nyan. Okay, R minus A smallest and that. Kung kung natin is tum distance nito or Depression of force is tangent dito. So, paikutin mo yun. So, dito yung arm mo. Dito yung F mo. Kumuha ka ng line dyan. Tapos 90 degrees mula dito. Ganyan naman. So what is the distance dito? So point na to. Saka yun. Yan ang perpendicular distance ng force. Yan. Mula sa J. So that is, the distance dito is mula dito. 90 degrees siya na 90 degrees. Dito saka dito is R cosine of ito. P. Minus R. R to the ba R. So, yan. Yan. Times differential of F. Yan. Substitute mo yung differential of F. Ito. Magiging M of F. With respect to J is F. P. P. 
PBR as integral of R cosine P minus R times sine of P, the equation of P um, P1 to P2. P1 mo is itong malitay na. Ang P2 mo is itong difference ng P2 minus P1 is theta. So, so uh, expand. So, uh, equal to F B, P, B, R as the integral of R sine P minus and cosine P minus R sine P is the pressure of theta from P1 to P2. Then, M of F T is equal to F P, B, R times integrate muna to is 1 half of R sine squared P ama, plus R cosine P from P1 to P2. And equal to F P B R times 1 half of sine squared P2 minus sine squared P of 1 ama, plus namang R cosine of P2 minus cosine of P1. Okay, ano yung value? So tangent theta 2 is equal to 12.5 over 10, which is 12.5, which is 10. So this is theta 2. Diba? Okay. Ito yung ano? 12.5. Ito. So ito, ito yung theta 2. This is 51.34 degrees. So ito, kasi ito yung ano mo, 12.5 divided by 10. So, ito yung beta 2. Yeah. Okay, mamawala rin yan ng beta 2. Okay. So, P1 is equal to beta 1 minus beta, beta over 2. So, beta over 2 is kalahati nito. So, ito. This angle is equal to this angle. So, Sabihin, yung P1 mo is ito yun. Until nito, okay. beta minus theta over 2 is equal to ito. This is P1. is beta 1 minus theta over 2. Then, pwede yung inagay yun. Theta is 90 degrees. So, P1 is 51.34 minus 90 over 2 is 6.34 degrees. Yeah. So, this is P2. So yeah, this is theta 2 is beta over plus theta over 2 is 51.34 plus 90 over 2 is 96.34 degrees. B is equal to 4 inch dot R 10 inches. For Governor Spestos, table AT29. So, ayan. F is equal to 0.4. Table 89. And for R is equal to the square root of 12.5 squared plus 3 squared. So, is this in inches. And your equation mo is F of G is F B P B R times 1 up of R times sine squared. Sine of P2 is squared minus sine of P1 is squared plus R times cosine of P2 minus cosine of P1. Uh, so, which of values this is now equal to 0.4 times P times 4 times 10 times 16 over 2 times sine of 96.34 squared minus sine of 6.34 squared plus 10 times cosine of 96.34 minus cosine of 6.34 is equal to negative 51.81b. Okay? So, which is the end. In the transmitting direction is... Atama, ito yung value niya. Wala pa para tayo saan. Ito. Okay. Kung napansin nyo, angle lang ginamit ko sa mga theta. Sa P. Kasi, gumagamit ka ng trigonometric function. So, dito, pag hindi sa trigonometric function, gagamit ka ng adjuncts. Ano nyo ba? Ginamit nyo rin. Ano dito? Limawa ito. Ayan. Just the case. So, mali na kayo. Dapat i-adjunct nyo. So, moment of N with respect to G and N is equal to ano lang siya? R times sine P. So, yung R times sine nito is yung yan. R times 
sign P dan diberi salur dan itu A, kita yang A, satu poin muto yang intersection yang di tengah yang titik bisnya sebanyak ada itu. Mula jangan agak di itu, mula jangan agak di itu is R times sin T, plus sin T A. Time to press and open. So the moment of end with respect to J is P B R times R times Integral of sine squared p the depression of p from p one to p two is equal to p b r over two times one minus cosine of two p and exponent of from p one to p two. Kita nak cek ini ya. Time of n is equal to p b r over four times two times p two minus p one minus sine of two p two minus Sine of two p one. So m of n is equal to p times four times ten. M sixteen over four is equal to two times ninety six point thirty four minus sixty four point thirty four is integral multiplied by nine pi over one eighty. Para maging rajans minus sine of two times ninety six point thirty four in d c squared. Aba kaling iba. Kapan tayo ko yung sulat? Kung nasa taas squared, kung nasa align exponent or coefficient. Ito rin ganun. Pag bumaba ito sa sulat nyo, that is wrong. Yan nga tayo yung mga exponent nyo. Then sine of 2 times 6.34. So this is 572.9p. Now, punta na tayo dito. So means on a moment, at j is equal to w times a. What is a? Ito mula dito. a is 25. Pag gano'n tayong ikot ha. So this is plus the moment of F to J. Pag gano'n din. Diba? Minus moment of N to J. Kasi yung F mo pag gano'n. So ito naman pag gano'n yung other direction. So mag minus. So 1,000 times 1,000 times 25 plus negative 51.81p. Minus 572.9p is equal to zero. Ito kasi ang F. Kaya nag-negative siya. Kasi sa mission, sa mirror na mag-upos dito. So, kanalo na yung upos. Kaya nag-negative. So, P is equal to 52 PSI. So, the maximum P is equal to P is equal to 52 PSI. The pressure is constant. This is maximum P is equal to the P na nasolve natin don, which is 52 psi. For P2 is greater than 90. So bakit yung capital P ang maximum pressure? The equation mo kasi to P is P sine P. The maximum yun is equal to P, di ba? The wave. So from table 8029, permissible is 50 psi. Therefore, p maximum is approximately near the permissible value. So letter B, what is the torque? T sub F is equal to the integral of R times B F. Torque lang. Torque, yung force mo nito, dito sa mga ikot, ikot sa center of ikot mo, kaya yung R. So this is T F is equal to F P B R integral of sine P the pressure of P from P one to P two. So T sub F is equal to F P B R times cosine of P one minus P two. So alam niyo kung bakit nagbalik tayo ng one sa kato, okay? Kung sabi niyan, integral ng sine is Negative cosine. Yeah. So it's equal to 0.4 times 52 times 4 times 10 times cosine of 6.34 minus cosine of 26.34 is 9188 inch pound. Letter C. 
loss power now is equal to friction loss power is Tf and over 60,000. So units-nya, so N is equal to 60 RPM. So friction loss power is 9188 times 60 over 60,000 is 8.75 horsepower. This is not your answer. Letter B, 9188 in spark is your answer. Okay, let's see. N is the, non, the total normal force is the integral of N. Or PBR the integral of sine P, the pressure of P from P1 to P2. Or N is equal to PBR times cosine of P1 minus cosine of P2. N is equal to 52 times 4 times 10 times 6.34 minus cosine of minus 6.34 times 2 to 97 pounds. On the average pressure is equal to N over 2 BR sine of theta over 2. So theta is 90 degrees. So the average pressure is 2 to 97 over 2 over 4. Over 10, sine of 90 over 2 is 40.6 psi. Then PBM is P times 5 dn over 12 is 40 times 5 over 12. That's 20 times 60 is 12,755 foot pounds square square inch minute. Since PBM is stated that in less than 28,000 foot pounds per square inch minute, article 18.4 or section 18.4, application is continuous. So next, sample problem number three. So, hindi ito, ah, sabi ito, may mga energy breaks dito. Uh, 3,500 pounds automobile moving on level ground at 60 miles per hour is to stop in a distance of 6 to 60 feet. Tire diameter is 30 inches. All friction of energy except for the brake is to be neglected. A, what total averaging braking torque must be applied? B, what must be the minimum coefficient of friction between the tires and the road in order for the wheels not to skid if it is assumed that weight is equally distributed among the four wheels? This is not true, huh? So problem lang. C, if the frictional energy is momentarily be stored in 50 pounds of cast iron brake dump, what is the average temperature rise of the dump? Event. 3,500 pounds, automobile, 60 miles per hour, 260 feet, 30 inches tire diameter, 50 pounds of cast iron. So required A, the total average friction torque, B, the minimum coefficient of friction, C, the frictional energy. Solution, letter A, solving for the braking, total braking torque, the formula is use of F is delta negative Ke, or W over 2G test B sub S1 squared, minus B sub S2 squared, or W is equal to 2,500 pounds. B sub S1 is 60 miles per hour is 88 feet per second. B sub S2 is 0 miles per hour or 0 feet per second. G is 32.2 feet per second squared. And U sub F now is 2,500 over 2 over 32.2 times 88 squared minus 0 squared is equal to 421,000 foot pounds. Now the frictional power is Tf in foot pounds times WM over 30,000 or TF in pound N over 60,000. Then A is equal to B sub S2 minus B sub S1 over 2S. Alam niyo yung formula to? Tanda niyo pa? Nakuha mo yung distance na A. Now acceleration is 0 minus 88 squared over 2. Over 260 is equal to negative 14.892 feet per second. Now, kita natin sinusolve dito. Ah, ito. Para makuha natin yung ano, horsepower. T is equal to B sub S2 minus B sub S1. A is equal to 0 minus 88 over negative 14.892 is 5.91 seconds. Kasi given kasi yung... Breaking torque mo. Ayan, use of F. Put punch. Eh, wala ka namang angular speed, di ba? Wala. So, yan. So, ito gamitin natin. So, pressure of power is equal to negative P over T over 550. Ano itong 550? So, yun natin nagamit ito. Uh, yun na yun. Put pounds per minute of power. Hindi. Put pound cost power seconds. Yan. So, this is now use of F over 550 over T. Is 421,000 over 550 over 5.91 is 130 horsepower. Yeah. 
Now, n average is b of m over pi b is equal to 1 up of 88 feet per second kasi 0 to 88. So, ang average mo is 1 up of 0 plus 88 times 60 seconds per minute. So, over pi times 30 over 12 feet is 336 RPM. Then, friction loss power is Tn over 63,000. So, T sub F is equal to 63,000 times 130 over 336 is 24,375 inch pounds. This is now the torque. Breaking torque, letter B. F is equal to F over N. For its will, N is equal to 2,500 over 4, normal force, or 875 pounds. So T sub F is equal to 24,375 over 4 is 6,094 inch pound. Its will naman. So its will tayo as. So F is equal to 2 times TF over D. Is equal to 2 times 6094 over 30. Is equal to 406 inch pound. So the F is equal to F over N is 406. Our H75 is 0.464. Ito yung friction. Pwede mo na gamitin uh, gawin yung total. Hindi ka na mag-divide ng 4. Kaya lang, mas maganda na yung i-identify mo per P. Ito C. Delta P is equal to U sub F over WMC. Yung MCP delta T natin, di ba? So U sub F is equal to 421,000 foot pounds. W sub M is 501 pounds. C is equal to 101 foot pounds per pound per night for cast iron. Check the notes or your tape. Ano natin? Yung libro. Delta T is equal to 421,000 over 50 over 101 is 83.4 Fahrenheit. So, yan. Okay na? So, doon sa lecture, marami pang explanation doon. Ito lang. So, PowerPoint is yung mga importante. For more topics or uh, discussion, don't be a lecture sa word while you talk. Kung isasama ko pa lahat yun doon, haba na ng oras natin. Okay, so this is the end of this topic breaks.